Hello, welcome to Cypress Automation. This is Sherful. This lecture is about to see how we can use implicitly wait pause in Cypress. We know in Selenium we can use uh, implicitly or explicitly wait, and you have to do it by coding. But in Cypress, uh, usually there is a by default which works before each and every uh, you know uh, line or uh, test cases uh, execute there is a uh, you know it has automatic mechanism to apply that weight so that it's finished that execution and and that's uh, uh, in built-in or wrapper there is a dot then method with this dot then method the weights works but still if you need to apply any local weight still you can add some local weights so we'll see that and also we'll see pause if if any uh, statement any script or line or any test cases you know up until any test case you need to do any pause that can help you to debug uh, and then you can uh, apply or you can use the pause also there is a pause command in Cypress that we can do the pause so it will be pause uh, you know uh, your execution uh, so let's see so we're back to our BS code I created a one test file uh, it's called wait.js and then here you know it's uh, my describe uh, block and uh, there is a it method I mean it block it block I have just you know launching the site and then it's a uh, one there is a one um, uh, should wear a session just to confirm that this uh, URL it's the right URL which is include a code inbox that award and there is another it uh, block that will be confirmed that you know it has a paste title let's see I can show you here the title okay this title uh, this title okay so this is the the class I use the class you know just to confirm that you know this element this element is visible so use this so you know this uh, it, uh, it it block will do this but you know this is not when we're, we're not going to spend time to explain uh, uh, to you know those uh, it blocks so here we're going to see first if you want you can apply some it's an ex example that you know before your script move to this it block you want to apply a one uh, uh, wait some local weight you want to do uh, apply by your own so you can add over here cy dot there is a weight you can see there is a weight function you can call that function and then you can uh, put the how long you want to uh, you know wait so it's in milliseconds so example 3000 milliseconds which is that three seconds right so you can apply that weight so let's save it and then run it so to run it npm run sign open we're going to run through uh, test runner okay test runner launch okay wait there's a wait spec file so just open that Okay, it's visiting, you know, uh, launching the site. It's then you can see there is a wait. You know, see, see this a wait is going on. So here, if I go to the first our it block, so this is the you know uh, the launch is uh, site is goes to, uh, goes to visit, and then you know this is the you know uh, a session that's to confirm that it has this URL have the code in box that's a word, and then here it's applied this wait. So this, you know, it it's a wait before it goes to the next this block. It's a wait three seconds or three thousand milliseconds, right? And then it goes to the that one, uh, next uh, it block. So you can apply this is your local or implicitly wait. Let's go on next. So next we're going to see how we can uh, add any pause. So pause, you know, so let's create another it block. 
so your description say uh, example I would say should pass the execution so this block you know I'm going to apply the pause so it should block it should you know pause the execution over here when your uh, script will be here so it will not move to the next eight block okay uh, so this is the description and then we can going to use the oh next is function I didn't write the function function right and then and then here uh, its command is cy pause pause you can see pause and then you know you don't have to put anything you know it has uh, some argument that you can pass but you can just leave it as it is so what will happen let's see save it then open it again the test runner so we'll see again the weight is you know applying is going on and now you can see now it's a pause block so it's pause now you can see it's not the execution is not moving to the next it block it's not going there it's it's pause it's you know it's over here pause it, and it will be pause uh, up until until you click on over here you can see there is a resume if you click on the resume button then it will go to the next uh, it block so it's very pause is very helpful to uh, debug if there is any issue in any block you know you can narrow down your your debug your execution and then you can pause it and you can see this is that working up until that uh, it block if it's working then you know you can put your pause on another block and then you run it again and see this is each and every block is execution and you can find out exactly what where your script has the issue okay so it's a pause it's very really really helpful if you do some debugging okay so pretty much uh, that's all you know it's very simple implicitly weight or local weight and also the pause function in Cypress thank you so much stay tuned I'll wait for the next tutorial have a good one